All right, Shalom. It's the brother from the gym. I'm calling again back with another video. Before we go any further, we give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakodash. The bonus for our apostle and the great most of the the truth according to the Bible, Ruel, and peace and blessings to all like of the nation of Israel. Today, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim, Shai. You know, I'm going to um, title it, you know, somewhere along the lines, woe unto them that uh, wait. To seek the Lord, you know, and you know, for those who, who aren't in the know, woe means death and destruction. So death and destruction is going to be onto them. That them is also made the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and you know the Israelite foreigners, which are scattered amongst the other nations, which are looking like the other nations, taking on their customs, just as we. Uh, uh, as a whole as a nation has fallen away and take on these customs as a as as these heathens which are these other nations outside of the nation of israel whose sea line goes back to abraham isaac and jacob <clears throat> with that you know um you know i'm gonna hop into my first precept because you know like i said the title lesson is woe to them which are the israelites so-called negroes latinos and native americans whose sea line goes back to abraham isaac and jacob who wait to seek uh, the Lord, um, who's the Lord? The Lord, the name of the Heavenly Father being Yahweh and His only begotten Son being Yahweh Shai. You know, uh, why is it bad that you wait? Uh, because what? Uh, you don't have all day to get this word. Uh, hear this. A lot of our apostles and our elders, the men that have been teaching us the truth for 30 plus years and better, you know, their pages are getting shut down left and right. They're on their backup pages now. Um, um, you know, um, a lot of brothers are, are um, just, just, I'm, I'm, I'm going to read the scripture. It says, uh, Amos, and 11, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. A famine is a shortage of lack of. So, just so now you can turn on the internet and you can watch videos, you can, um, just as you can go to the grocery store and buy food, you know, and it's, you know, it, there's plenty of it. It's same when you uh, turn the internet, turn the internet, you go on YouTube, there's plenty of videos. There's a vast variety of videos that you can watch and be edified. But the Lord is going to take all that away, you know. This is Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that was in a famine in the land, not a famine of thirst, nor it's likely not a famine of bread nor for thirst but of hearing the words of the lord so what of hearing the words of yahweh by shema um the, the the men teaching you the scriptures the men that are breaking down the holy bible to you there's going to be a shortage they're going to be taken off the streets they're now their videos are going to be taken off the highways and byways i mean it's likely off the uh, the internet you know and we see these things happening that's why it's going to be uh, to your detriment if you can't uh, get this knowledge. Because scriptures say the most high love of none but him that dwelleth with knowledge. This is uh, Proverbs 1 and 21. It says, and it reads, because I, I I'm going to start at 20. This is uh, Proverbs 1 and 20. Wisdom crieth without, she utter her voice in the streets. Yes, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures is crying in the streets, you know. And out when we get off the streets, we upload our videos on the internet. And wisdom and knowledge is going to ultimately be the stability of thy times, the things that are going to keep you stable, what to what to do, you know, how to uh, conduct yourself, knowing that the end is near, you know, because death and destruction is coming to America. This is Proverbs one twenty. Wisdom crieth without she utter for voice in the street. She try she crieth in the chief place of concourse. You know, that's why we go to the uh, where a lot of people are uh, commercing, buying and selling, because we're we're easily accessible. In the opening of the gate, in the city, she uttered for words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity? Yeah, you gotta ask yourself, what are you really uh, waiting for? Why are you waiting to serve Yahweh by Shema Shah? Why are you tearing? Are you waiting uh, for America uh, to go into the next third war th World War Three? Are you waiting for the economy collapse? Are you waiting for the RFID chip to be a uh, fully implemented? If you wait, then it's going to be too late, you know. 
It says, how long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity? Are you waiting for, you know, your your career choice? You know, are you waiting to get a good job and your career choice didn't to wait to seek the Lord? No, the scripture says, seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High. And, and you know, the Lord is going to basically take care of the rest. It says, how long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity? Yeah, the scriptures, you're simple right now. You know, if you're without the knowledge and understanding of the truth, you are very simple. But the Lord is going to make you wise through the fear of the Lord, through fearing Him. How long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity, the simplicities of America? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Yeah, so you got to come back, fear the God of the Bible, seek the Lord, you know, and stop hating the knowledge. Turn you at my reproof. So you're supposed to turn at the reproof. The reproof is us bringing out the scriptures telling you that you're not supposed to be eating pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, which all which all are abominable foods in the in the eyes and the sight of Yahweh by Shema Hashai. That you're not supposed to um get tattoos, you're not supposed to get edge ups, line ups. You know, these are things that you're supposed to be repent repenting from. You're not supposed to be celebrating your birthday. You know, uh, Christmas, Thanksgiving, you know, these which are pagan holidays, you know, that are worshipped and celebrated here in America. You're not supposed to be uh, celebrate. You're not supposed to be worshiping false idols, which are no gods, which are no gods at all. But you're supposed to w worship and serve the true and living power. You're supposed to keep the commandments to the best of your abilities. The commandments that are written in the scriptures. This is Proverbs one twenty three. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I'll pour out my spirit onto you. I will make known my words unto you. The Lord is making known his words unto you by the prophets. You know, the, sp the spirit of the Lord is, is pouring out into the world, you know, uh, but you have to receive it. But this is the downfall if you don't receive it. This is the downfall if you uh, continue the wait, if you continue to tarry. Verse 24, because I have called and you refuse. And how do you refuse? By not repenting, by continuing doing this, uh, being the old man that uh, Yahweh Bashem Shai wants you to, uh, 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 to, to turn away from, to stop being. It says, because I have called and you refuse. Um, you refuse by walking by the, the, the words of Yahweh Bashem Shai We refuse by uh, basically continuing to be a nigga in the world. I have stretched out my hand, and no man regarded it, but ye have set at not all my counsel, and would none of my proof. Yeah, you, you didn't want to do, you didn't want to have to, you didn't want uh to do with the reproof of Yahweh by Shemosh. You want to continue in your wickedness. I, verse 26, I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. So look, there's going to be a time where the, the, the men of the Lord in Yahweh by Shema Shai are going to be laughing at you because you should have took heed to the warning. You know, you took this truth as a joke. You took this truth as as, as a gimmick, you know, uh, a fad, you know, something uh, to, to, to just do to pass the time. No, you know, or you didn't want to do it at all. The scripture said, what? I also will laugh at your calamity. The calamities are coming to America, death and destruction. Scriptures talk about how the prophets that have been before more, before me and before thee have all prophesied against great uh, many countries against great and against great kingdoms of war, evil, and the pestilence. You know, so evils, uh, bad times are coming to America. It says when your fear cometh as a desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. Yeah, you know, so your fear is going to come upon you as a desolation, and your destruction as a whirlwind. When distress and anguish come up upon you, when you're, uh, you know, you you everything you work for comes, uh, fails here in America, when you're extremely stressed out because you don't know the script, you know, we have the script, the scriptures, we have the, because this is like a big move, we have the script right here, we know what the next scene is, you know, so we're, to know, you know, knowledge means to know. You know what? We're going to be stable. You know, we're going to be stable. Lord, Lord's willing to get that scripture, you know, to know which. Let's go and get it now. This is Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. So wisdom is a good choice and knowledge means to know. So to to know uh, what, what's going to go down, you know, 
uh, in, in having the wisdom to, to discern, you know, what to do and what not to do, you know, that that's going to keep us stable in these troubling times that are going to come to America. This is what's going to keep uh, us stable when all hell is breaking loose, when there's uh, martial law troops are uh, are banging in people's door, when there's a curfew in America with foreign troops, you know, uh, 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 raid America, um, besiege America, I should say. Isaiah 33 and 6, and wisdom and knowledge should be a stability of thy times. But to those who don't have this wisdom and knowledge, it isn't going to be your stability. So what? You're going to be asked out in a day. You're going to be a without stable. You're going to be unstable. In strength of salvation, you're not going to have any uh, strength towards your salvation. You know, you're going to be weak in that day. So what? You're not going to be saved. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Yeah, the fear of the Lord is, the, is his treasure. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, the beginning of understanding. This is um Job chapter 28, verse 28. And it reads, And unto man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom, and to depart from evil is understanding. Yes, yeah, so if you want wisdom, you have to fear the Lord. If you want to... If you want to get understanding, you have to depart from evil. That to depart from evil is understanding. So, you know, you get the understanding once you start departing from evil, you know. Really, you got the understanding if you are uh, uh, departing from evil. Because what? You know what's coming down the pipeline. You want to do everything you can to avoid that judgment. This is uh, Proverbs, uh, back in Proverbs chapter 1, verse 28 now. I'm going to read the end of 27. It says, When distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me. But I would not answer. So this is why, you know, this, the lesson is titled, Woe unto them that wait to seek the Lord. Because now it's too late. The Lord is not going to answer you. The Lord is not going to answer your, your call. But the Lord is telling you, look, if you call on me now, I'm going to answer, you know, I'm going to seek the Lord. That's why he's telling you to repent. This is a uh, real quick. This is uh, Matthews 4 and 17. And from that time, Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ. That's his true name in ancient Hebrew, uh, Yahweh Shai. From the, and from, from that time, Yahweh Shai began to preach. And are we not preaching? And to say, repent. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That's what we're telling our people. So-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to repent, to turn back sorrowfully to the God of the Bible, to the God of the Bible, to repent, to uh to stop wickedness, stop committing wickedness willingly, and uh come back and serve the Lord and offend less. You know, scripture say, as it was, your mind to go astray from the Most High, so being returned, seek Him ten times more. So we're telling our people to repent, and that what the kingdom of heaven is at hand that. Uh, the kingdom of heaven, which starts with this knowledge, starts with the understanding. But the kingdom in its entirely, it's going to come as soon as the so-called white man is taken out of power. And the Lord comes back with his holy angels, gathers, saves his elect, which repented in the last days, and sets them up, starting with the 144,000, and sets them up as the rightful rulers of the planet Earth. And you want to be a part of that. It says... Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but shall not find me. So our people are going to be out here seeking the Lord, you know, when that famine of work comes, but they're not going to find him, which I'm going to go back to the Amos, Lord's willing. I don't want to make this lesson too long in Salaki if I'm talking too much. You know, we got a lot of new listeners who are tuning in. They have to know these things. Verse 29, for that they hated knowledge. And did not choose the fear of the Lord. Yes, since you hated knowledge, you didn't want to get the scoop. You know, you didn't want to get the information about the script of what was coming ahead. Now, when when it's action, when it's when it's time for the scene to play out, you're not gonna know what you know what to do. You know, it says, "For that they hated knowledge, you hated fearing the Lord, and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They would none of my counsel." They despised all of my reproofs, as the Lord is telling you. Um, because you didn't want to hearken unto me, now you have to face this destruction. 
Therefore shall they eat the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. Yes, so they're going to eat the fruit of their own way. Let's get this right quick. This is Galatians chapter 6, uh, verse 7. Be not deceived. The most high is not mocked. For so, for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall we also reap. For he that soweth to the flesh shall the flesh reap cor corruption. What's sown to the flesh? What America promotes. You know, do as thou wilt. Do whatever makes you feel good. If it feel good, do it. You know, that's what America says. You know, if you want to be a sodomite, do it. If it makes you feel good, do it. If you want to eat pork, do it. But... He that sowed to the flesh, out of the flesh reap corruption. You're going to reap what you sow. You're going to reap destruction. You know, that's the reward. You, you, you sow in the wickedness, your reward is going to be destruction. But he that sowed to the spirit. What's the spirit? The spirit is this word. The spirit is Yahweh Shai. But he that sowed to the spirit shall the spirit reap life everlasting. So if you're if you're watching videos, if you're taking notes, you're studying, you're praying to the most high, you're fasting, you know, you're uh you're getting built up, you're learning, you know. Uh if you're keeping the commandments to your belt to your ability, you're gonna reap life everlasting. Meaning what? You're gonna reap eternal life. Verse nine, and let's not be weary in well doing. Yes, yeah, so we don't want to be weary, you know, faint, tired in well doing because what you know, if you're sowing to the spirit, that is well doing, that is well pleasing in the sight of the Lord. But those who are sowing to the flesh, that is unpleasing to the sight of the Lord. And let us not be worried in well doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not, if we endure unto the end. Scripture say, He that endureth unto the end, the same shall be saved. So in due season, and we're in the we're in that season, you know. You know, of course, the season isn't fully here yet. You know, the kingdom of heaven isn't fully implemented. But we're, um, you know, we're, we already started reaping uh, certain benefits. You know, the Lord uh, protecting us, you know, throughout the day. You know, but ultimately, that's that that's in the kingdom. That's, that starts in a time when all hell is breaking loose. You know, we're going to be reaping. You know, why these other people are going to be uh, caught up in their destruction. Uh, verse 32, for the turning of the... Proverbs one thirty two for the turning of the way of, uh, of the simple shall slay them and the proster and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. This is the point. But whoso hearkeneth unto me, unto the Lord Yahweh by Shimon Shai, shall dwell safely, and shall be quiet from the fear of evil. So whoso hearkeneth unto the Lord, hey, you're gonna dwell safely, and shall be quiet from the fear of evil. Uh, you're gonna be good in that day. The Lord is going to protect you. But unto those that don't, unto those who wait, they're going to be destroyed. I'm bringing two more uh, precepts out. We'll go ahead and close out. You know, dressing, uh, it's getting kind of long. This is uh, Hosea 5 and 15. I will go and return to return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. So what the Lord said, he's going to, he, he has turned his face away from us. But what he says, I will go and return unto my place till they acknowledge their offense. And seek my face. So the Lord wants you to acknowledge your offense. Not acknowledge that the reason why you're here in America. You know. And you're the chosen nation of the Lord. But what? You're at the bottom. You're in slavery under the so-called white man. Working uh, uh, nine to five jobs. Dead in, uh, dead in jobs. You know. You you uh, barely have enough money at the, end of the week, at the end of the week. To feed your families. You know. To pay the, make sure the lights stay on, uh, is because the reason why we're in this predicament is because we sinned against the Lord, you know? So you have to acknowledge that and realize that it's our fault that we're in America. And we have to get back on the good side of the Lord. It says, I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. In their affliction, they will seek me early. But some of our people, they're not going to acknowledge their offense. But in their affliction, when all hell is breaking loose, then they're going to then they're going to want to seek the God of the Bible early. But the Lord is not dealing with that. This is um back in Amos chapter eight and eleven, and it reads, "Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord." And now you know this, that the Lord is going to send a famine in the land, and 
you can't just wait. Oh, I got the names written down. You know, oh, I'm good. Now you just can't wait. You know, you got to seek the Lord. Let's get that. What's it say in Matthew? This is Matthew 7 and 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Because isn't that what the scriptures say? That whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. But the Lord is telling you right here. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord. And these are, you know, this is Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, those who knew the names of the Lord. Yahweh by Shimon Shai shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. What's the will of the Father? That we, you know, that we uh, abound in uh, the grace and mercy of the Lord. We continue to pray and ask for forgiveness. You know, we uh, continue, you know, and, and you know, we, we keep the commandments to the best of our abilities. And have faith in the God of the Bible. And, you know, and hope, you know, and just trust in Him. That's all you got to do. You know, and do videos and things like that. But for brothers who are starting off, you know, that's what you have to do. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name cast out devils, and in thy name doeth many wondrous works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. So those who are claiming, to, oh, I know the Lord's name, I'm going to call them in that day, it's going to be no problem. But you're con you're still committing wickedness behind the scene. Oh, no one saw me commit that wickedness. You know, you know, I, 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 it's not like I've ever been down to a camp. You know, I've been on the comment board. I watch the videos. You know, but it's okay if I eat pork. You know, or I, at the dinner table of my family day. No one's gonna know. The Lord's gonna say, "Depart from me, you workers of iniquity." You know, you're gonna be rejected in that day. It's gonna be a cold. It's gonna be a cold day in hell. Uh, verse 12, Amos 8 and 12. This is going to be the last one. Lord's willing. And they shall wander from sea to sea. And from the north, even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. Yeah, they're going to run to and fro. You're going to be searching. You're going to be seeking this knowledge. You know, you're going to be looking for it. You're going to be looking for answers. And you're not going to get any answers because you're getting the answers now. Right now is the time to ask questions. Right now is the time to get your answers question, your your questions answered, you know, to seek the Lord, you know. But in that day, it's going to be too late. But that, you know, I'll say, uh, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory. To the Lord's only brothers will edify through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shai. It's lucky if I was uh, rambling on, you know, it's kind of all over the place. But that's how the spirit is. You know, I say to Wali Yahweh Shema Shai for allowing, uh, for putting His Holy Spirit upon me to do this lesson. You know, give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. You know, brothers, remember to seek the God of the Bible. Seek Him now, because, you know, we own God all day. Scriptures say, make no tearing to turn to the Lord and put not all from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. In thy security, thou shalt be destroyed, you know? So you don't want the day of the Lord to come upon you unawares. You know, double honor to our apostles and elders of great most of teaching us the truth according to the Bible. Well, and peace and blessings so reflect of the nation of Israel. Next time we say, Shalom.